nice to meditate, but it's not enough. Nothing's gonna change until you put that piece in action, in motion. So first step, yes, be good in your mind, be good in your soul, and then shut up and get going and get the work going because it's all about work. You know, nothing happens if you're not going to put enough work and time into it. You know, like we do right now, we isolate ourselves for an hour and we're going to have a nice inspiring conversation which hopefully will inspire other people. Uh, so we're doing the work. So it's really important for you people out there to realize it's not enough only to listen to us. As soon as that conversation is done, you have to make your own conversation. And your own conversation is about talking, but it's about doing as well. You know, I always say, I think, therefore I am, therefore I do. You know, and I think until now we were not completing the sentence. It was the world of, I think, therefore I am. And we were lost in our thoughts and lost in our mind. You have to step up out of your mind. You have to liberate your mind. That's a, the big challenge of our century is really what I call the liberation of the mind. I think 19th century and 20th century were geared at liberating the body, abolition of the slavery, physical slavery, but we still have mental slavery. And we see it in many parts of the world and many culture and religion and, uh, and political system. It, the, the mind is still in jail. So it's time to open our mind cage, step out and see that we are free souls, free spirits. It's all about us trying to link, connect, have a healthy relationship and change the world in oneness. Absolutely. I, I, love, I love the word activist because it does really mean that we are taking actual steps and not just talking about it, you know?